preparing a suspension. Aim to prepare a suspension of soil, chalk powder, and fine sand separately in water. Apparatus Chemicals and Materials Principles Theory Precautions Procedure Take three clean beakers with 25 milliliter of water in each. Label them as A, B and C. Add a spoonful of garden soil in beaker A. Powdered chalk in beaker B. And fine sand in beaker C. Gently stir the three mixtures with clean glass rods. Observations and inferences. Beaker A. Soil particles are heavier than water and insoluble in it. The suspended soil particles impart a muddy color to the mixture. Beaker B. Chalk particles are heavier than water and insoluble in it. The suspended chalk particles impart color of chalk to the mixture. Beaker C. Sand particles are heavier than water and insoluble in it. The suspended sand particles impart color of sand to the mixture. Procedure Cover all the three beakers and leave them undisturbed on a table for a few hours and then observe. Observations and inferences When left undisturbed, insoluble heavier particles form a sediment. Heavy particles settle down first to form the bottommost layer. Other layers are formed in the order of decreasing weight of the particles. Take another set of three clean beakers and label them as suspension of soil in water, suspension of chalk in water and suspension of sand in water respectively. Using clean glass rods, Decant the supernatant liquid of all the three solutions into the labeled beakers and observe. Observations and inferences The supernatant liquid is not clear due to the presence of suspended mud, chalk and sand particles of a certain size. This reduces the transparency of the solutions. Except in beaker C, where the transparency is further reduced due to presence of very tiny sand particles suspended in water. Conclusions or Results